Hello, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this dress. I'm using this simplicity pattern play suit romper with a detachable circle skirt, two outfits in one. Genius. I will just be making this bodice section and I'll be drafting my own skirt to attach to the bodice. Let's get started. The fabric is a thrifted cotton sheet and it feels like brand new fabric. I love that it has every color of the rainbow. I'm using quarter inch woven elastic, an invisible zipper, and these strap adjusters. I used the poke tracing method to transfer the pattern onto my paper. It takes a lot longer to do it this way, but I don't like to cut my paper patterns in case I change sizes in the future or if I want to sew something for someone else. This way the pattern is preserved in perfect condition for many years to come. These are my bodice pieces all cut out. For the bodice back, I'm going to make it stretchy by using rows of elastic to create a shirring effect. So when I actually cut out the fabric, I'm going to extend the width by almost double. When I cut the bodice pieces, I decided I didn't want the entire back to be stretchy, so I separated the back bodice into multiple panels. For the skirt, I measured my waist and then multiplied by 1.5. This way I can have some gathers along the waist because I think it's cute. There are lots of calculations online for the radius of your waist and how long you want your circle skirt to be, so I won't go into too much detail here. Since I was going to gather it anyway, I wasn't super precise when cutting. Once I cut out the skirt, Kiki decided to stop in for a quality inspection. She liked the fabric, but felt my workstation cleanliness could be improved. And then it was back to work. Since this was a sheet, one end had a nice thick hem along the edge. So I decided to use that to make my straps. As they say, work smarter, not harder. I cut out pockets from some scrap areas and then cut out a long wide strip for a ruffle for the bottom of the skirt. Since this fabric is mostly white, I decided to line it. I have a ton of this stretchy, soft swimwear lining fabric, so I just used this. I cut out the lining and then attached all the lining pieces. I didn't film that part because it's going to be basically the same as assembling the dress and I didn't want this video to become a never ending story. Here are the straps, pockets, and bottom ruffle, and here are the bodice and skirt pieces. I started by attaching the bodice front pieces. When you attach the curvy parts, go slowly and try to avoid stretching the fabric. And the front bodice pieces are attached. I did a long basting stitch on either side of the front center seam so I can gather that front ruching. It took a little zhuzhing to get it to sit right, but at the end I got this cute gathered sweetheart neckline. Next I made the stretchy back panels. I hemmed the top of the panels, then used my elastic to create a shirring effect by sewing the stretched elastic in rows on the bad side of the fabric. That created this lovely stretchy piece of fabric. I attached it to the back of the bodice, and the bodice was done. At that point Kiki was exhausted from watching me work, so we went to get some coffee. Kiki doesn't actually drink coffee, but that's okay because I drink enough for the both of us. Back at home, it was time for the skirt. I ended up adding an extra skirt panel for extra swooshiness. I attached the pocket to the skirt fronts and backs, and then attached the skirt pieces, making sure to sew around the pockets. The trick here is to make sure your pockets are tall enough so that the top of the pocket can be stitched into the waist. That way, if you put heavy stuff in your pockets like a phone or car keys, you're not weighing down your skirt because that waistband is supporting whatever's in the pockets. I did a basting stitch along the waistband, then gathered and pinned it. I thought I'd jump back in about the pockets. When you're doing the basting stitch, make sure to avoid the pockets. And then when you're attaching it to the bodice, you want to make sure the pockets are included so that they're stitched onto the bodice. After that, it was time to make the straps. I used strips about 20 inches long, folded them into the center, and then folded them in half lengthwise. 
I top stitched it down. Now to add the adjusters, slide the strap through one side of the adjuster and then back through the other side. You'll fold that end over and stitch it in place on the strap. Then you'll take the other end of the strap and loop it through the circular adjuster piece. Finally, you'll loop that end through the first adjuster piece over the top of the part you already looped through and your straps are ready. To line the dress, I put the dress and lining right sides together. I took a little snip off the end of each strap to create a loop to attach them, and then I pinned the straps between the dress and lining. Once the lining was attached, this started looking like a real dress. But as you know, I like a little ruffle drama. So here is the ruffle panel. I connected these short ends to form a loop, hemmed the bottom, and did a basting stitch along the top. And then I lost the footage of myself gathering it and attaching it to the bottom of the skirt. Next was the zipper. Now I have history with zippers and tend to avoid them, but this time I read the instructions first. Then I completely ignored the instructions and attached the zipper the way I wanted to and finished by closing up the back seam of the skirt. Instructions are fun, but sometimes it's more fun to make it up as you go. Anyway, let's try it on. I feel like if I add a big hat, I could attend the Kentucky Derby or go to a fancy picnic. It also matches Kiki's harness, so we look very fancy when we go for walks together. This was a really fun dress to make. I sometimes struggle with following instructions. I think I just don't like being told what to do. And it's fun to try something new and fail and try again and fail and try again until you succeed. And I think it turned out nice. So what do you think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments and click here for another video we think you'll like. Bye. <laughs>